Here's something structural engineers probably don't want to see, and that would be actually notching the bottom of a stair stringer so that you can install some type of a nailer. Um, realistically, there is no reason to have a nailer like this notched into the stair stringer. Um, you could simply just nail it over the stair stringer instead of notching it. Just nail it on top of the, which would be the bottom of the stairway. Um, but as far as notching one in, if you notch it in the wrong spot, you will actually weaken the stair stringer considerably. Here are a couple of examples of what I'm referring to to give you a better idea. If the nailer um, or the notch out of the stair stringer isn't near the bottom of the stair tread, the back of the stair tread, bottom of the riser, then it's not going to be as much of a problem as if it is in this area. And you can see this kind of a common sense thing. If you notch the um, stair stringer near the bottom of the riser on the stringer, this is the cut or the notch for the um, bottom of the riser or the back of the stair tread or step, then realistically you can see where this would considerably weaken the stair stringer a lot more than it would if it was moved more towards the middle area as in the previous picture. So again, like I said, this, this is just kind of a no-brainer for some of us, um, but for others, hey, you know, they see someone do it, that's what I'm going to do. Well, this could be, could create a problem for your stairway. So think twice before notching the bottom of your stair stringers. And like I said, if you need to put something on the bottom for whatever reason, simply nail it on the bottom of the stringer um, if you can. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to do that if you were going to drywall something, but uh, if you're going to drywall underneath the bottom of a stair stringer, don't just simply don't put anything there. And again, if you need, you're worried about something, you could always block in between the stair stringers. You know, if that's what the purpose of the nailer is, is to provide you with some structural support, then just cut a couple of blocks and nail the blocks in between each stair stringer. So for example, this stairway has four stair stringers. It would require three blocks. One block in uh, at the bottom or base of the stair stringer um, uh, in between each one of the stair stringers. So again, that's just another alternative um, for this particular stairway, I really don't uh, see why you would need to block anything at the, in the center. If you had a longer stairway with, let's say, 14 steps, something like that, uh, then you might need to do something like that. But uh, three or four steps is probably not going to be required or necessary.